104 square a number which is closer to 100 but greater than 100 so here is 104 is 4 more than 100 therefore 104 plus 4 that is 108 followed by 4 square that is 16 so what what are we doing here 104 so it is 4 more than 100 so 104 plus 4 108 followed by 4 square 16 take another number 108 square this this is 8 more than 100 therefore 108 plus 8 is 116 followed by 8 square that is 64 or 107 square this is how much more than 100 7 more than 100 so 107 plus 7 is 114 followed by 7 square 49 the number which is closer to 100 one is less than 100 the other one is more than 100 what is the similarity in these two approach and how they are different this is 100 now these numbers are less than 100 for example 98 square 92 square or 96 square another numbers which are greater than 100 like 105 square 107 square and 103 square how is the different approach for these two 98 which is 2 less than 100 therefore 98 minus 2 which is 96 so first number is 96 followed by 2 square 4 as 4 is a single digit number so we will write 0 4 look at this 92 which is 8 less than 100 therefore 92 minus 8 which is 84 followed by 8 square which is 64 next this is 4 less than 100 so 96 minus 4 is 92 followed by 4 square 16 coming to the number which is closer to 100 but greater than 100 what is the approach see here this is 5 more than 100 therefore 105 plus 5 that is 110 followed by 5 square 25 see this number 7 more than 100 so 107 plus 7 which is 114 followed by 7 square 49 look at this number 103 this is 3 more than 100 therefore 103 plus 3 which is 106 followed by 3 square and as 3 square 9 is a single digit number therefore I need to place 0 9 observe these two numbers one is 98 square which is 2 less than 100 the other one is 88 square which is 12 less than 100 now here 98 minus 2 is 96 followed by 2 square which is a single digit number therefore you are placing 0 4 but look at this number 88 88 minus 12 is a 76 followed by 12 square now 12 square is a three digit number 12 square we know is 144 which is three digit number now I can't place three digit number here therefore this one will be carried over here and the 44 comes over here therefore your final number will be 7 6 plus 1 7 
4 and 4. Take one more example. This is 89 square. This is how much less than 100? 11 less than 100. So, 89 minus 11 which is 78 followed by 11 square which is 121 and this 11 square 121 is a 3 digit number. But the maximum digit I can take here is 2 digits. Therefore, this 100th digit will carry over here 121. So, your final number is 7, 8 plus 1, 9, 2 and 1. So, is the case if the number is greater than 100. Look at the cases. Now, 112 square. So, here this is 12 more than 100. So, 112 plus 12, it is 124 followed by 12 square, which is 144. And 144 is a 3 digit number. So, the 100 digit should be carried over here. So, 144, that is what 12 square, 144. So, your final number is 1, 2, 5, 4, 4. The 5 is 4 plus 1. Let us take 113 square. This is 13 more than 100. So, 113 plus 13 which is 126 followed by 13 square which is 169 which is 3 digit number. So, 1 will be taken over here 169. So, your answer is 1, 2, 7, 6, 9. The similar way we can go for a little higher number like 117 square which is 17 more than 100. So, 117 plus 17, 134. This is 134 and 17 square 289. So, 2 will be carried over and 8, 9 comes here. So, your final number is 1, 3, 6, 8, 9. If you have to find out the square of the number which is closer to 200, there is also a shorter method for that. Look at this, 204 square. This is 4 more than 200, therefore 200 plus 4, 208. Now double 208, that is double of 208 is 416. So 416 followed by 4 square that is 16. Look at the another number 207 square. What we do 207 plus 7 because 7 more than 200 therefore 207 plus 7 that is 214 double 214 that comes 428 I may write over here 428 followed by 7 square 49 